morning. We're gonna do the high efficiency one first because that's the one I have in my truck. And then we gotta go to the supply house, pick up the other inducer and go and put that on. I didn't troubleshoot this one, by the way, my boss did. Very well designed boilers, the way they open up like that. Seems like it's kind of just plug and play. I think I just gotta take these or bolts off. Probably gonna need a wrench for that one. Three eighths. All right, that one back there is impossible. So I think I'm gonna take the top of the heat exchanger off. I guess I don't have to take it all the way out. I could just leave it like this. too smooth I don't know how it broke I mean it was tight when it was coming out but I thought you know maybe it was just the nut or something I don't know I hope I have another one Let's see I got some miscellaneous up here it's kind of like my miscellaneous bin hmm not there I'm wondering if there's something I could just temporarily steal this off of. Maybe. I think this might work. Nah, too big. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna steal it off there. I mean, all that's literally doing is holding this bracket up and you don't need four nuts and bolts to do that. right there. 
back where the old one burnt out. And I try and carefully get this gasket off. All right, one down, one to go. I gotta run back to the office quick and get a bearing assembly too. I forgot one of the pumps is all screwed up over there. Might as well do both. I was originally here back in November. I had to put an igniter on one of the lock and bar water heaters. Let's go take a look. Well, most of the work is done. Looks like whoever was here took off the bearing assembly for us. This is where our inducer's gonna go. Shouldn't be too bad. This is like the first proactive thing I've done in like a couple weeks. Usually everything is an emergency. I broke today, I broke yesterday. We can get this one up and running not that we have to use it now, but in case this goes down, we have a backup. Oh no. Where's the impeller? Uh-oh. Right out of the box. Grinding up against right there. God is brand new. I'm gonna try and tighten up on the mounting bolts, see if that'll do it, because even just looking down the barrel, it looks a little wonky. Neither do I. For some reason it doesn't fit. Ah, never mind, I just couldn't find the hole. Oh, this thing's locked up. That doesn't even sound good.
great. Problem, this bearing assembly is gonna do absolutely nothing if the motor is locked up. And besides, someone, I don't know who it was, threw out the impeller for this and it's gonna be impossible to try and line it up. So motor's bad, we don't have the impeller, we're just gonna have to put a whole new pump on. Because until the pump is on circulating and the flow switch, well, I could technically jump out the flow switch, but all right, I'll jump out the flow switch. What I really wanna see is that the inducer runs. Oh, Are you kidding me? It's... Oh. Looks like I gotta put a new flow switch on too. Flame failure. One, two, three. Three flashes. Flame failure. Manual reset required. I don't know where the heck that is. Ah, maybe this is it. All right, well, the inducer works. Let me make the phone call and find out if we're doing this today or if this is going to be like uh, somebody else tomorrow or in the ether kind of a job. 11 inch gap and I could always shorten this nipple if I need to. Looks like we're gonna put a grunt force on. It's a go. I think this might be my pump. Three speed, that'll work. 115, that'll work. Not it. Mm. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we got the right pump. All we really have are 007s, 0010s, 009, 0014. And then some of these big Grunfoss pumps, more medium size. Oh, well, we tried. So going to have to order the pump, probably some flanges, redo some of the piping a little bit, which it's almost four o'clock. That ain't going to happen today. So this is where we're going to end it until next time.